Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. This video is a deep stretch, slow flow class. So we will be holding postures for a longer period of time, intermix with some dynamic movements to help warm up and get deeper into our muscles and connective tissues. We'll go ahead and begin in a child's pose. So take your knees wide and your arms straight out in front of you. Allow your forehead to press down into the mat and your breath to slow. Because we are incorporating dynamic movements, there is not a specific need to warm up before this flow, but as always, it helps you get a little bit deeper into the stretch if your muscles are warm beforehand, even if that means just taking a hot shower before you begin stretching. side to side on the floor. And just allow everything to slow down here and tune in to your body and your breath. Activate the stretch a little by pressing into your hands, lifting your chest a little further from the mat and then pressing it down. Move at your own pace here. At your inhale, lift up a little as you continue to press through your hands. And as you exhale, sink deeper into your child's pose, actively pressing your hips closer towards your heels. yourself to sink back towards a passive child's pose. As you inhale this next time your back will come up rounded and as you exhale back you'll arch. Come forward as you round and exhale press back. Continue here, you can play around with breath. Maybe you exhale as you come up and you inhale as you come down. Again, this is your practice. I'm here just giving suggestions. If at any time during this practice something doesn't feel good to you, by all means, take a modification that suits your body. No need to go as deep in any of the stretches as I do. Just take it as it comes, listen to your body, do what feels good to you. That's all I ask for. So we'll begin to take some big circles in the hips here, pressing out to one side, through center, and to the back. As you come through the forward part of the circle, round a little through your back, and press back. We'll switch that so as you come forward, arch through your back, lift your chin and your chest up towards the ceiling and press back. Just getting our hips moving here. Hold in your child's pose for a moment and we'll go ahead and switch sides. We'll press on over to your left. At the top of the circle, you're rounding through your back. Begin to arch through your back as you come forward. And 
and sink back to your child's pose. Gently lift up just enough to weave your left arm under. As you inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky and behind your back for a little twist. Right arm comes up towards the ceiling. Take three big circles here. And gently release back down. We'll lift our chest and switch sides. Right arm goes under, left arm reaches up and behind your back. Reach it right back up towards the ceiling, take those circles and return to center. Palms come together, elbows down on the mat. Lift your chest a little, then press your chin a little bit closer towards the floor. So we're opening up through the shoulders here, a little bit of the chest. Go ahead and lift and lower at your own pace. Lift, maybe you tap your chin to your thumbs and then down to the mat. Actively pressing your elbows into the floor. Reach your hands forward, round your back up to all fours. Then align your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your heels. Continue to round as you rock out a little left and right. Slowly bring your back to neutral and belly drops to the floor as you continue to rock left and right. Finding some dynamic movement in the spine. Round up towards the ceiling. And arch. One more time. Begin to round up. Hold at the top, we'll lower ourselves all the way down to our bellies. Bring your hands right about under your shoulders as you take some shoulder rolls here. Try to find as much length through your neck as you can. Inhale, lift up and exhale, lower. So as you inhale, press your chest open towards the front of the room and exhale, lower down. Move at your own pace. If you'd like to make it a little more of a rolling motion, you can certainly do that. Take a couple more, then land yourself in Sphinx Pose. So you're on your forearms here. This is a very active posture. So you're pressing down through the tops of your feet, actively pulling your shoulder blades together behind your back. Keep that same positioning as you transfer your weight to your palms and lift and lower a little bit. So drop your elbows and then press away. Hold at the top. release and take some little movements here that feel good if you roll out one side then the other lift up and lower lift up a little bit to weave your left arm under we'll take a big side twist so the right knee will twist over to the left right arm twist over to the right
we'll spend some good time here, so feel free to close your eyes, tune into the twist. Option to straighten the right leg to get a little deeper into the outside of that right hip. And bring yourself back to center. We'll switch sides. This time the right arm will go under. The left leg will come across your body and left arm out to the left. Option to straighten that left leg. Gently move through center. Come back to your belly here, allow your forehead to come down to the mat. Shake out in any way that feels good to you. Maybe you stretch your arms long above your head, tap out the tops of your feet. Take your hands wide as if in a really wide push-up position here. Press up and down several times, just lifting and lowering. As you move through this, make sure you're engaging your core, pressing your chest forward towards the front of the room. Next time you come up, come all the way back through child's pose. We'll build a little flow here, so feel free to watch the first time. You'll begin to lift through cobra, then sit the hips back towards the heels to child's. Round forward. Drop the hips, drop the belly, drop the chest. Go ahead and flow with me, lift up. And exhale, press back to child's. Inhale, round up. And exhale, lower. Continue here a few more times at your own pace, just getting the whole body moving. and end in your child's pose. Option for a shoulder rinse in child's pose if that feels good to you. You can even tap it, take it a step further and tuck your forehead in towards your knees. Feel free to pause the video if you want a little more time in that, otherwise, Lift up to a little back bend with that shoulder rinse. And exhale, interlace the fingers in front of you, round out your upper back. If it feels good to take some movements left and right, that's a great option here. Take your right wrist with your left hand and stretch a little over to the left. And switch sides, stretch a little over to the right, left wrist in the right hand. 
return to center, inhale the hands up towards the ceiling and exhale all your air. Gently bring yourself forward into a lizard pose. So the left foot is a little more out to the left. It's not right in line with the body. It's out to the side enough that it makes room for your rib cage and your shoulders so they can be square to the floor and square with your hips. We'll spend a good amount of time here to so really begin to tune into your breath. Take it slowly. If you are someone who likes to lower to your elbows and you're okay jumping right into that, by all means go for it. Otherwise, stay up tall for a little while. Maybe even take a block under your hands to prop you up higher. And continue to breathe. Take any little movements that feel good. If your back knee is bothering you, it might be a good idea to tuck that back toe. Also locks the kneecap in place so it keeps it nice and safe. And if you're working towards lowering onto your elbows, you can begin bending, straightening the arms, eventually lowering all the way down. Take one more full breath and begin to lift out of your stretch. Take any little movements that help you feel good. You can wiggle side to side a little bit once you get to the top. Our next posture we'll be sinking into is pigeon pose. So go ahead and toe heel your left foot on over to the right. Set up for your pigeon and sit up tall first. Engage, maybe you take a little back bend, send your gaze up tall. With every exhale, allow yourself to sink a little deeper. Maybe you come forward to your forearms or forehead to the floor. Continue to breathe deeply. Focus on the inhale and the exhale. Let go of any gripping you may have in that hip. If you feel yourself clenching your muscles where it's tight, maybe you back off a little bit and then sink back down. Another option here, you can lift up and weave your right arm under your left. Allow your right ear to come down.
gently return to center, lift back to your forearms first. And sit all the way up tall, begin to engage, pull your inner thighs in towards one another, lift up, find a little balance. Inhale, reach the arms high and exhale in towards heart center three times. Exhale, pull it down. One more, reach up. And lower. Lean forward, press through your hands, tuck that back toe. Slowly, slowly slide your left knee back to meet your right as you rock forward a couple times. And then bring those rocks into a circle motion. switch directions three more rocks forward and back and lean back to seated on your heels take a little breather here big roll on your shoulders alignment back to posture before we start the other side when you're ready, go ahead and bring your right foot forward and a little bit to the right. So we're setting up for lizard pose here. Breathe deeply. Sink down into that left hip flexor, the right hamstrings. you begin to sink deeper into this side take any little movements that suit you maybe some rocking maybe tuck that back toe if it helps your knee your way a little bit lower whatever that means to you maybe you bend and extend through the elbows Begin to make your way back up to a long spine. Take any little movements that feel good here. And begin to make your way towards pigeon pose on the right side. So right heel comes over towards the left hip. So you sink a little deeper, sit up nice and tall first, maybe you find a bit of a back bend. With your next exhale, find a little bit deeper pigeon. We'll work towards your edge, so don't go there right away. Ease into it.
option to take that twist, wrap the left shoulder under the right. Bring your left ear down to the mat. Close your eyes, sink in a little deeper. Make your way back to center. Find Sphinx pose, the upper body first. You can rock out a little as you make your way up tall. We'll take three big sweeps of the arms. So inhale up high and exhale through your third eye to heart center. One more time, big breath in. And exhale, let it go. Press through your hands, tuck that back toe slowly, slowly. Bring both knees next to each other. Begin rocking forward and back. Three times. And three circles to the right. circles to the left back to center and forward and back a couple more times sink back to your child's pose From child's pose, we'll begin to make our way into a deep frog stretch. So frog stretch stretches the muscles of the inner thighs, as well as the hip rotators. Begin to let your knees melt apart side to side. So if I'm looking at you from this side as I am from this camera view, the knees should be in line with the hip. And if I were looking at you from above, there'd be a 90 degree angle at the knee and at the hip. That's 90-90. Continue to breathe here. With every exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper. This should not be painful, although it should be a little uncomfortable. If you're finding yourself pushing beyond your limit too often, it's a good idea to take a pillow up and below you to help prop you higher to where you're still feeling a stretch, but it's not too much. and lift up on your elbows if you were lower down rock out a little left and right if that feels good walk your hands or your body a little over to the left side pressing more so into the left knee Rock it out a little and begin to press on over to the right side. Mm -hmm. 
return to center. Take any movements here that will help you get a little bit deeper into your frog. It's important to stay in these stretches for a long time. The more you breathe deeply in a stretch, the more oxygen can reach your muscles. to do that slow everything down melt into the floor here let go of any tension you're holding in the muscles sink down feel heavy to come out of frog come to your hands or your elbows Lift up, putting as much weight onto your upper body as you can. And pull your knees together. Take it slowly. Maybe rock it out a little at the top. Do anything you need to do to release out that stretch. Sit up tall. And we'll begin to make our way towards a straddle stretch. So we'll start to prepare here. Bring yourself to a seated butterfly with knees wide. Sit up as tall as you can. You can bounce the knees a little if that feels good. And take the legs wide, but not as wide as you can go. So there should be about a 90 degree angle between both legs. Take your hands behind you, lift your hips for a moment and set them right back down. flex and point your toes a couple times and as we stretch here in our straddle make sure that your knees stay pointed up towards the ceiling or maybe slightly back we just want to avoid them rolling in forward same goes for the toes so as we begin to lean forward towards our straddle here take some rocking motion side to side eventually your hands will come down to the floor or your elbows wherever you're at Totally cool, stay there. Feel free to close your eyes. We'll be spending some time in our straddle stretches. And as we move through the sequence, we'll begin to release a little, open the legs wider, and sink low again. So if you know you can go deeper than this, no worries, we'll get there. We're just easing into it. release that stretch lift up a little take your feet a couple inches wider on each side even if that's it just one or two inches begin to lean forward take any little movements that help you ease into the stretch find as much length of the spine here as you can so if that means you're seated up tall totally cool stay there as long as you feel a little stretch along your inner thighs and your hamstrings that's what i'm looking for find your edge Begin to lift your chest and walk a little over towards your right side. You can be up on your hands if you're seated tall, or if you're a little more flexible, you can lower down into it. Maybe your chest presses towards the floor, 
or for a bit of a twist, you can reach for your right leg with your left hand. Bring your, yourself all the way through center and take that same variation on the other side. Turn to center, reach out long, and make your way all the way back up to seated. Option to take your legs a tad bit wider. If you're working middle splits, I would like to take that now. This is a great opportunity. With middle splits, you're going to want your knees to fall forward. So that's the only difference between middle splits and straddle. That and your legs are a lot wider. So go ahead and find your edge. Just take your time. Breathe deeply here. Maybe you'll play around with middle splits if you're not quite there. Take this time out for you. Take three more full breaths here. And after your third, make your way back up tall. Pull your knees in one knee at a time. Roll out your neck a little here. And return to your butterfly pose. Bounce up the knees a little. Take a deep breath in and a smile. Take any little neck stretches or upper body work you'd like to do. And for this remainder of this practice, we'll be lying on our backs. Go ahead and take the soles of your feet together, knees fall wide for reclined butterfly. Go ahead and pull your left knee to your chest and extend the foot up high towards the ceiling. The right knee will come up towards the ceiling. So both hips are square. Make a big hamstring stretch here in the left leg. Also an option to extend the right leg long on the mat to get a little more into the right hip flexor. For our dynamic movement here, we'll rock out left and right if you aren't as flexible and want to bring your hands lower on your leg, then I am, by all means, do that. Hold and find stillness. And begin to open the left leg, open to the left. And pull it back to center. Go ahead and release the left foot to the floor. Pull the right knee in and extend it towards the ceiling. Take the hamstring stretch on this side. Again, 
optional whether you straighten or bend the left knee. We're moving out left to right. Find some stillness here. Begin to open the right leg to the right side. Gently return to center. Bend the right knee and pull the left leg up to meet the right. Both legs come straight, reach around the backs of your legs wherever you can. And we'll slowly make our way towards a happy baby pose. Hands can be on the ankles or the insides or the outsides of the feet. If it feels good to rock out side to side here, certainly do that. Likewise, if you like bending and straightening one leg and then the other, that's a fun one. Our body is certainly prepared for this exercise now. Reach your legs up high, hands come behind. Can point and flex your toes a couple times. Take your hands to the insides, either of your ankles or of your thighs, as you begin to open the legs straight to either side. And if they just come a little bit apart, totally cool. That's why we're here. We're working on flexibility. If you can open them a little wider, like you're doing a straddle, do that. Begin to breathe. Hold it for a couple breaths. And gently release, pull your legs together and knees into the chest. Give yourself a big hug here. Allow your knees to fall wide, the soles of your feet together. We'll begin winding down. Option to reverse your position here. Take your feet wide on your mat and your knees in towards one another. Just laying like this is a great release for the low back. Allow yourself to breathe. Feel your back pressing flat and strongly into your mat. and pull your knees into your chest. Take any movements here that feel good to you. Maybe that circles one way or the other way. Maybe that's a little twist side to side. Just do what feels good to your body here. So a couple last movements before we close off our practice. Find some stillness here as you hug your knees to your chest. And I want to thank you all for flowing with me, sharing your love and support. Continue to breathe and practice. Practice yoga on and off your mat. Thank you all. Namaste.